President Donald Trump spent time in Saudi Arabia with the top Arab leaders to discuss important topic and present a speech to the top 50 leaders from Muslim countries. His words left a stern and powerful message that provided them with direct orders to do the most intelligent thing they could ever do. Trump's message was heard across the world as he firmly provided the one thing that everyone needed to hear. President Trump encourages Muslim leaders to drive out the terrorists in order to make the world a better place. It doesn't matter if you love or hate Donald Trump because this message should be clear to everyone in every country. When you have bad people who infect and destroy the reputation of your country or religion, then you need to stand up for yourselves and drive the bad away from the good. Do you think Muslim people would have such a horrible reputation if there wasn't so many terrorists spawning from within their communities? What if there was no Muslim terrorists? Then the world would only have to worry about their local crimes and things would be a bit easier. Every neighborhood, city, and country has horrible criminals living within who choose to do terrible things. We can handle that. What no country wants to deal with is people from other countries invading and terrorizing because they don't have anything better to do. Top Arab leaders from 50 majority Muslim countries, including the Saudi, Egyptian and Jordanian leaders posed for a photo with the U.S. president on Sunday before his speech in Riyadh. President Trump, a better future is for you if you drive out the terrorists and drive out the extremists. Drive them out. Drive them out of your praises of worship. Drive them out of your communities. Drive them out of your holy land. And drive them out of this earth. How can people disagree with that? If you're a Democrat and think this message is wrong, then you're the problem. This is exactly what every good person on the planet should do when they find a person whose only goal is to cause harm and havoc. Terrorists are suicidal. We need to talk them out of harming themselves and others. There's no reason to blow yourself up when you can live a prosperous life doing something you love. There's no reason to learn to fly only so you can crash a plane into a building. If you're going to learn to fly, then become a pilot and enjoy a nice relaxing retirement and life of prosperity. If you're going to work with explosives, then don't blow up buildings with an improvised vest that implodes your body into tiny particles as it destroys a building with innocent people. If you like blowing up buildings that much, then get a job with a demolition company and get paid to blow things up. Or perhaps join a military research unit who tests missiles and explosives. What the people aren't telling terrorists is that everything they're doing for free, they could get paid to do. Why rape people when you can become an escort and get paid to do things to people? Why get caught with your pants down behind a goat when you can become a farmer and provide food for families while earning an honest living? Why marry child brides when you can become a pediatrician and earn a six-figure salary? The terrorists of the world really need to think outside the box and have better goals for themselves. They're doing it all wrong and I think with a little bit of life coaching from better people, that they can really turn this thing around. Don't knock buildings down, but instead, be responsible for building them up. When President Trump tells leaders to drive terrorism out of their country, that's not just a message to those people. That's a message to everyone. The fight against terrorism needs to be intelligent, informative, and life-changing. Some of those poor terrorists are so brainwashed that they think this is their normal life and that what they're doing is the right thing. Perhaps someone out there can be a life coach for previous terrorists who wish to do better things and slowly turn this world into a better place. No matter what happens, I'm sure an idiot liberal will find a problem with fighting terrorism. They'll find something wrong with what Trump said just because they hate him and they're still crying over Hillary's epic loss. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.